you want to convert more viewers into subscribers, then you need to have a fantastic channel banner. But what makes a good channel banner and can you create one even if you don't know how to use Photoshop? Hey everyone, Heather here, your YouTube coach, helping you share your story and build your brand on YouTube. And I was just about to update my channel art or channel banner, and I figured I would document the process and share it with all of you because your channel banner plays such a huge role as to whether viewers actually convert into subscribers. After a new viewer discovers one of your videos, they'll typically go to your channel first to actually see what you're all about before they decide to subscribe. And when people are exploring your channel, your channel art or your channel banner is going to be the first thing and also the most prominent thing that people see. That's why having an awesome, fantastic, great looking and effective channel banner is so key. So what makes a great channel banner? Here are five best practices to consider. First, your banner needs to display properly for various devices, which means that it needs to be the right size and it needs to be designed in a way where nothing vital or no text gets cut off depending on the device that someone is using to view YouTube. According to YouTube, the recommended channel art size is 2560 by 1440 pixels. But we also have to be really careful about how we design the channel banner because it's going to crop differently depending on the device that someone is using to view YouTube. So here I created a channel art guide for you guys to be able to use. So here is just a sample photo in the back and then this is the dimensions of the actual size of the image that you want to upload to YouTube. But here you can see this blue box in the center that's 1546 by 423 pixels. This blue box is considered the safe zone, no matter the device that someone is using, whether it be a TV, tablet, phone, laptop, whatever, anything that's within this blue box should not get cropped. It should display. So. I put this blue box here just as a guide. Obviously, you know, you could design it however you want, but even if you are just using a photo, you want the subject to be able to fall within this area so that you don't have like people's heads getting cut off because they're getting cropped. So let me show you an example. This is my current YouTube channel art that I'm actually going to replace. So this is the full size image, right? But on all devices except for TVs, which is a very small percentage of my audience. The banner will actually just crop like right here. It'll look like this on most devices. So this purple part here won't even show up at all. So here's the channel guide again, and you can see that pretty much everything falls within that blue safe zone, and that's where it's going to crop. Next, your channel banner should convey what your channel is all about or who your channel is for, or both. There are various ways that you can do this, including just listing out the topics that you cover or actually writing out who your channel is for and who your target audience is. You can include a tagline, you can have a mission statement. I, I would suggest keeping it really simple and clean, but you can not just literally spell it out for them. Like, this is what my channel is about and this is who I create content for. Number three, include your branding. This is especially key if you're a business or you're an entrepreneur, you wanna make sure that your branding is consistent across all websites and social media platforms and your business cards and, and you know whatever collateral that you have. But even if you're not someone who's actually selling something, branding is super important. That's how you establish your identity and what you offer in the minds of your audiences. Everything from your colors to the fonts that you choose, to patterns, to taglines, to a picture of yourself, to stills from different videos on your channel. There are definitely different ways that you can do this, but when someone's scrolling through your videos, scrolling through your channel, reading your channel description, you know, kind of consuming these different aspects of your channel, there should be some cohesion, right? Like your thumbnails should all kind of look the same. Um, the way that you film your video should all look kind of the same or have the same style. That way it becomes signature to your brand. Number four, convey brand authority. What does this mean? Basically, you wanna answer the question, who are you to be creating this content? A common practice for businesses who are trying to convey authority to prospective clients or customers is that they'll actually include the logos of different companies that they've worked for in the past. Or maybe, you know, you are an entrepreneur or solopreneur 
and maybe you've guest blogged on pretty popular, reputable websites and you want to include their logos on your channel banner. Numbers are also a great way to showcase your expertise and demonstrate your competence. So say your channel is about how to make guitars. You can say that you've been making guitars for the past 20 years or something like that. Or you can talk about the number of people that you worked with, how many clients you've had, how many things or products have you sold. You can also convey authority by including pictures of yourself doing the thing that you create content about. So for me, my channel banner is gonna have a picture of me holding my camera recording a video because my channel is about how to make YouTube videos. If you do knitting, then you can include your knitting needles in your channel banner. Obviously, like if you if you work with any kind of tools, those are great things to show. So maybe you do journaling or scrapbooking and you wanna include like scissors and stickers and all of that in your channel banner somewhere. Have fun with this part because really, if you convey your passion for the thing that you create content about, that is going to speak volumes to your brand authority. Lastly, number five, include your upload schedule. I've talked about this in several videos, but I highly recommend having an upload schedule or a certain day of the week where viewers can expect new content from you. I think it's great for you as a creator to kind of keep yourself accountable and you know keep yourself to schedule where you're regularly refreshing your channel with new content, but it's also fantastic for your current subscribers and your new viewers so that they can expect when to receive new content from your channel. Now, I know a lot of those best practices can be subjective, which is why I wanted to deep dive into three case studies and show you actual real examples from successful YouTube channels so that we can analyze them together and see how they're incorporating these best practices. The first case study is one of my favorite YouTube channels, Philip DeFranco. Uh, you can see here his YouTube channel art at the top is really cool. It pops out, it's fantastic, um, and it's branded also. I think that if you are a one person creator who's in charge of your channel, I think that your face should definitely be in your channel banner somewhere. Um, so even though it's only half his face, you can see that he's right here. And in terms of what is this channel about, he's got DeFranco Times, Breaking News, and I think that's enough to kind of give you an idea that he covers the news. Um, and one of the other prominent things about his YouTube channel banner is his upload schedule. Now he's on a completely different level because he uploads five days a week, but still it gives his audience an idea of what kind of content he uploads on what days. The next case study is Stephanie Buttermore who does fitness and she takes a very science-based approach because she has her PhD and she works in a lab and stuff like that. So as you can see here, she is featured in her banner. Again, having that personal branding aspect in the channel banner right at the top. Um, great design, everything fits and nothing crops funny. Uh, her name is super big and bold, which is great. So all the attention is on who this channel is about, but you can also see that she lists her channel topics right here in the channel banner. So she covers science, fitness, and lifestyle. Also, another thing that she does is, remember how I mentioned that one of the things that you should try to do in your channel banner is to convey brand authority. So who is Stephanie to be talking about science, fitness, and lifestyle? Well, she has PhD in her name right here. So that kind of gives credibility to her background and her knowledge in in this field, but she also has pictures of her doing the thing that she talks about. So here's her in her lab. She's clearly in fitness gear and stuff like that. So I think just those little elements really do add authority in terms of who are you to be speaking about this subject. The last case study is Pat Flynn. Again, another branded channel art. He's right here featured in the middle. He's got his name right here at the top. He also has his signature, his logo, and his hashtag. So so this one is like super branded, but you know, he's all about super fans and really building a community. So I think that makes sense for him. In terms of what is this channel about, he's got these taglines right here, make more money, save more time, help more people. Now I am a subscriber of Pat Flynn. I know that this is his mission, but this is also the mission that kind of bridges him and his audience. So his audience also has these same goals. They're trying to make more money, save more time and help more people since he's all about passive income. It says right here, smart passive income. So if you subscribe to this idea, likely you have either a side hustle or you're an entrepreneur and you wanna learn from Pat's experience because not only does he have the experience, but he's also constantly 
just working towards making more money, saving more time and helping more people. All right, now that you know what makes up a great YouTube channel banner, let's go ahead and create one using Canva and then upload it to YouTube. So here I am in canva.com and I have a file that is to the specs of the banner size. So 2560 by 1440 pixels. And right now it's totally blank. So I'm actually going to pop in my channel art guide just so I can see the safe zone and know where it's going to be. And then I'll just delete it once I'm done. So that's where the safe zone is, this blue box right here. Now I already have this picture of me that's cropped and I'm like popped out. This, unfortunately you do have to do in Photoshop. My boyfriend Tom helped me out with that. Uh, but yeah, it's gonna look something like this. I just need to make sure that I fit in here. And then I'm probably going to want to add some text. Uh, I'll probably put the topics that I cover and online branding. I suggest not having more than two fonts on your channel banner, otherwise it just gets messy. So it's also gonna have to be kinda small, relatively small compared to the rest of the background because it's, you know, we don't want the text to get cropped. So let me just put white font for now. So that's the, those are the topics I cover. I'll add another text box here. Um, and I'm gonna put for entrepreneurs and independent creators. Okay, that's like super long. So let's make that caps. Let's change the font um, and make it a lot smaller. Huh, we got the real small here. So it fit in there. Yeah, okay. So you get the idea, I'll do one more. Let me just copy this and put my name in here just so you can see. By Heather Ramirez. And I'll make it smaller, something like that. Okay, so it looks something like this, okay? So once everything fits in the safe zone, I'm gonna delete this background as the guide because obviously I don't want that there. Now, um, this, this, this font was white, right? So there's nothing there now, but let's pick this random background <laughs> and it would look something like that, right? So um, the thing that's gonna display, again, is just like this area right here. So I actually already created the channel banner that I want to replace. So this is my final version and I already exported it from Canva. So let's go to YouTube and actually replace it so here it is, I'm gonna go ahead, oh yeah. To get here, <laughs> you just want to go to your channel and then click this camera icon here in the top right corner. And then here you could select the file. Um, here is the file I want to change. And YouTube will show you, it'll preview a display of how it's gonna crop on some devices. So here's, here's what it's gonna look like on a desktop. The TV is gonna show the full image and then here's what it looks like on the phone. It doesn't look like anything gets cut off, so that's good. I'm gonna go ahead and hit select. And new channel banner is uploading. Bam, wow, that looks awesome, I love it. The other one I loved as well, but it was kind of messy uh, and crowded. So this one is just real nice and clean and very clear on who this channel is for, what I talk about, and when they can expect new content. I also use Canva to design my custom thumbnails for every single one of my YouTube videos. So if you want me to walk you through that process, go ahead and check out this tutorial next. Thanks for watching. And remember, you have a story worth sharing. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Let me know what you think in the comments and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.